Now, all this week, I'm training to go up in a U-2 spy plane just like this one. What's called a high flight is what we're gonna be doing, cruising at over 70,000 feet, above 95% of the Earth's atmosphere, as close to space as possible without being an astronaut. But we're all gonna get to ride together because we are putting cameras throughout this plane. So, are you ready to go? I can't tell you how excited I am. This is like a, a childhood dream. I mean, and for a pilot, it doesn't get better. Because there's no plane like the U-2. Nothing flies higher. You're gonna be the highest guy on Earth on Thursday morning. I've loved flying since the first time I went up in the sky when I was eight years old. I've flown in almost every kind of aircraft and now I'm licensed to fly myself. There's nothing like the view from the sky, and that's what's going to make this trip so extraordinary. But, uh, there will be curvature as you look left to right. What makes all of this possible, you might think, is a miracle of modern technology. But this plane was first designed over half a century ago for photo surveillance during the Cold War. In 1960, the U-2 was front and center when CIA pilot Gary Powers was shot down in his spy plane over the Soviet Union. And then it was just two years later that the U-2 documented the images that precipitated the Cuban Missile Crisis. Even today, whether it's Iraq or Afghanistan or even here at home, the U-2 plays a vital role in the U.S. Air Force. All right, this film uh, was shot after uh, Hurricane Katrina to assess some of the, uh, the damage of the storm. Look at that, and you can actually see the anchor line tied to the front of the boat. Yes, sir, and that's taken from uh, nearly 10 miles in the sky, so uh, pretty amazing capability. Shot on film, just like it was in 1955, almost all of the intelligence the U-2 gathers, we can't show you. So what does this uh, red light mean? This just means that we have uh, uncleared visitors in the building. Who are they? Uh, today, that would be you. But once it's developed and analyzed, that data can be transmitted almost immediately to our soldiers on the front lines. The U-2 and what it does today in the tactical environment uh, fulfills uh, the high altitude need that can't be uh, fulfilled by anything else right now. The U-2 Dragon Lady is both a classic artifact from American history and a current day invaluable military asset. I've been lucky to do a lot of really cool things as a weatherman. I don't know if there's anything cooler than what I'm about to do. It will be literally and figuratively one of the high points of your life. 